So this patient um, was diagnosed with HIV in 1988, and at that time his CD4 count was less than 100, so he had um, AIDS, um, and um, he was um, fortunately able to um, get on antiretroviral therapy by the late 1990s and was doing quite well until he got diagnosed with leukemia, um, acute leukemia, and, um, and um, underwent three cycles of chemotherapy. Um, a decision was made that a transplant was most appropriate to treat his leukemia, and we were able to find, fortunately, a donor who um, was a 10 out of 10 match and carried the homozygous CCR5 Delta 32 mutation. He underwent transplantation in early 2019, and um, he received a very uh, reduced intensity conditioning regimen, which is a regimen around the time of conditioning that we use for older patients, less fit patients, just because it makes the transplant have less um, complications. Um, and um, he did very well. Um, we were able to take him off systemic um, immunosuppressive therapy and about 16 months after his transplant um, and has been doing very well since. We can, and we've tested his reservoir to see if we can find any evidence of HIV and um, we can't. He's been post-transplant now for 42 months and he's been off antiretroviral therapy for 17 months. He's a true survivor. He was diagnosed with HIV in the late 80s at which time he saw you know, many of his friends and loved ones get very ill and die from the disease. And he himself told me he had thought he was going to die of HIV. And um, and then to go through and be able to get on highly active antiretroviral therapy in the in the 90s and and do well until he gets diagnosed with um, acute leukemia, which is another life threatening ailment. And then to go through this procedure and be treated for both. Um, both his acute leukemia and HIV, he's just, I mean, he told me he's very grateful for this and he's just thrilled uh, to be in this situation.